Giving all praise, honors, glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashim, Rakak, Badash, the Barnas, the Apostles, and the Elders of the Great Millstone, and the Sincere Shalom to the Icon that's out there pushing their sincerity and the truth and their sound doctrine. All right, uh, real quick video, you know, real quick video, man. Um, You know, sometimes, man, like, you know, we're born on this video is, uh, you know, I, I was just scrolling through my, 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 um, my page, you know, on the home screen, and I saw a brother's video, and it was said, uh, the Lord is getting ready get ready to uh remove us off of these streets and that was just the title you know i didn't even i didn't even click on the video and i was like damn man you know because sometimes man you know if, if you've been in this thing for a good long time man sometimes you ain't even gotta look at the um you know the you ain't even gotta click on a video sometimes just to see just to because a lot of these videos are mainly for people that you know are on the outside and trying to learn and stuff like that also for us as well for faith boosters and that's what it that's what that did man you know just just by looking at that title i didn't even click on the video man i'm just being straight up on it but just by looking at that brother's title man you know the, it you know encouraged me to do this video here you know it's to you know boost my faith as well man because that, that title alone is a is a faith booster there is a reason why and i, I know he went you know he i know he went in, into that video that was a 15 minute video i know the brother went in man you know but um you know there is a reason um why the lord is getting ready to, getting ready to uh, remove us off of the streets man all right amos chapter 8 verse 11 this is a real quick video all right behold the days come saith the lord yahweh bala shemiel was shy that i will send a famine in the land not a famine of bread nor thirst for water but of hearing the words of the lord yahweh bala shem yahweh shy now when you read this scripture you know, you will say, well, damn, he's not going to send a famine. Because we always keep saying he's going to send famines, pestilences, earthquakes, and stuff like that, which is happening right now. So you can't say that's not happening because it, you can't say that's not going to happen because it's happening right now. It's just that it's going to escalate. Now, when you read this scripture, it almost sounds like it says something otherwise. Well, the thing is, the biggest famine, because this is not denying the fact that there's going to be a famine of food and, and thirst for water and stuff like that it's not denying that it's just that when you have you know when you have like judgment judgment like when you don't when you don't have the word of the lord that's when judgment comes down and part of that judgment is naturally going to come with famine of, of, of bread and thirst for water that's naturally going to come because that's what the lord said was going to happen if you don't follow the law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability and, and call on the name of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, all of those judgments are going to come down on you. All right. All of those judgments are going to come down on you. Granted, we all going to feel it. I mean, you talk about a famine in the land. Yeah, you're going to feel that shit, no doubt. But as far as the, the hardcore judgment part, y'all going to feel that, man. You know, his elect is going to be. Remember, uh, uh, Isaiah said what? My servants are going to eat. Y'all going to be hungry. My servants shall drink. You're going to be thirsty. All right. My servants shall rejoice. Y'all going to be ashamed. All right. So it's the same thing with that, man. So this is not denying the fact. All right. That, uh, you know, it's going to be a famine of bread and thirst for water and stuff like that. It's not, not never denying the fact of that. You know, so that's not exactly what this is talking about. It's just talking about the main judgment. All right. The biggest famine, the biggest, biggest famine is going to be famine of the word. And that's why the Lord is getting ready to remove us off of these streets all right all right going on to the next verse verse 12 all right it says and they shall wander all right from sea to sea and from the north even to the east all right they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the lord yahweh <clears throat> and shall not find it okay so again man you know it's not really hard to see you know famine of the word famine of the word pretty much is here you know you can't even talk about those small headed cheap suits over there, man. And you know who I'm talking about. And that and that right there, like if we say something like uh C hip, we know what we talking about amongst each other. But somebody on the outside be like, Well, what the hell is a what the hell is a C hip? What the hell is that? Right? You can you can clearly see that now that that you you know when you think about that, that's clearly famine of the word. But you talk about well, what the hell is a small headed cheap suit? What the hell is a cheap suit, right? 
That's a that's a that's a cool when you talk about the ejection. You talk about a three three pointer jump shot. You know, people are like, <clears throat> what the hell is a three pointer jump shot have anything to do with government? <clears throat> See, we know what we're talking about amongst each other. Or, or what does that have to do with any you know, what does that have you know anything to do with uh you know sicknesses and stuff like that, right? We know what we're talking about. People outside don't, and that's what we explain to them, but that's still famine of the word. Because you can't actually say it. You gotta wait till them cameras off, and then and then you say whatever the fuck you want to say. All right. But again, man, that makes it this makes it so much more easier to see famine of the word, man. All right. Um. And you know, yeah, they're gonna wander from because y'all gonna wait till it's too late, man. You gonna wander from sea to sea. You know, you know, trying to seek the word of the Lord. All right. You're not gonna find it, man. Pretty again, man. Like it's just like it's just explaining. Pretty soon, you're not gonna see our videos up on the internet. You're not gonna see us out there on the highways, right, and on the hedges. You're not gonna see us no more. And then that's where you want to go, you know, wander from sea to sea, seeking the word of, of the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem What did the Lord say? What did the Lord say? He said, and you know, you're not gonna find it. They're not gonna find it. Okay. Feminine of the word is serious, man. You know, and people don't realize how serious that is. You know, you know what I'm saying. So again, like I was like I was mentioning earlier, I'm not sure if I had click stop and then I kept I continued on and I didn't realize I still had stop on. So um, I can't remember if I mentioned it, but I'm gonna mention it again. People are going to look at that as a good thing. You know, people are going to look at that as a as a good thing as far as us being being removed off of the streets and stuff like that. But they don't realize that. That's your daughter mercy, you know. You had these women, you know. You had Kevin Samuel. He was a two third, you know. I don't really care about. I never really did care about Kevin Samuel like that. Two third, but he, but that manosphere stuff that teaches you the basics. And like I said, I'm just mentioning it all over again. That manosphere stuff teaches you the basics. They, we are here to break it down all the way. You got to learn the origins of everything, where everything started, so then you can break it down. All right. Again. Like I, like I said earlier, and like I said, I'm not sure if it picked it up. Um, you like slavery? Slavery wasn't started from a skin color thing. Slavery did not start from a skin color thing. All right. Is this where you got it? That's where you break it. That's where you break everything down, man. You know. But they don't realize that Kevin Samuel, that could have been a doorway to mercy. That could have been like a, a short doorway to mercy. And then from there, you know, you get, you you know, the Lord may guide you to, to you know, the word, right? But these people out here don't look at that like that, man. When they see our videos get flagged, people don't see that as a bad thing. I mean, they don't see that as a, as a, uh, a, a, um, yeah, they, yeah, they don't see that as a, uh, as a, as a bad thing. They see that as a good thing, man. You know, when our videos get played. And technically, it is. You know, because that's closer to us getting up out of here, man. You know? So anyway, man, you know, uh, that's, all, that's all I pretty much had on this. You know, this is really just a, a video off of a brother, another brother's video, as I, as I was explaining on the uh, beginning of this video. All right? So I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about Hashem? Yahweh Shai Shalom Walk.